Carpal tunnel syndrome is a common problem affecting the hand and wrist. Symptoms include any combination of pain, numbness, and tingling in the hand. Very commonly, symptoms occur at night, waking you from sleep. All of the fingers except the little finger are usually involved. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when the pressure within the tunnel increases, putting pressure on the median nerve, usually from enlargement of the tissues surrounding the tendon in the tunnel. What causes this is largely unknown. Surgery is often recommended when non-surgical treatments such as rest, medication, and splints fail. There are two basic types of surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome, open carpal tunnel release and endoscopic carpal tunnel release. The following depicts one type of endoscopic release procedure. All carpal tunnel releases cut the transverse carpal ligament, which forms the roof of the carpal tunnel, taking pressure off the median nerve. Endoscopic surgery uses an endoscope, a thin instrument to visualize internal areas, to diagnose problems, and make surgical repairs without having to make large incisions. Because it is less invasive, there is usually less pain, less bleeding, and less swelling, and a shorter recovery time than open surgical methods. Let's take a look at one type of endoscopic carpal tunnel release. To begin, an incision is made to gain entry into the carpal tunnel. A cannula, which is a tube with a slot on the side, is placed alongside the median nerve. The endoscope is placed into the cannula to look at the underside of the transverse carpal ligament, ensuring that the nerve and tendons are out of the way. A special knife is inserted through the cannula to divide the transverse carpal ligament. The loose ends of the ligament separate to open the carpal tunnel and take pressure off the median nerve. Eventually, the gap between the two ends will fill in with scar tissue. The incision is then closed with stitches. Your wrist and hand will be wrapped in a soft dressing and you may wear a splint to provide support and promote healing. You will be able to move your fingers immediately after surgery and are encouraged to do so. You should avoid heavy grasping or pinching motions for several weeks. Your doctor may recommend that you participate in occupational or physical therapy to gain strength and coordination. It may take several months for strength in the wrist and hand to return to normal. Recovery from carpal tunnel surgery is individualized and depends on the extent of the condition. Your doctor will let you know what to expect.